A-Z-D. This one's dedicated to everyone who loves someone. Be the best and fuck the rest. This is the one you Let's get it. West Media. Okay, everybody, welcome to my video blog. It's 8.20 a.m. Right now, I'm getting started on the 5th of April 2021. This is an adult video blog. Take all the kids out of the way. It's rated X and rated R. Look up what that means. I don't need to go through that anymore. You're responsible for your own condition. Let everybody know that AZD is back. IMC Nation is back. Your favorite bad boy on the web is back. Back. Back that ass up. Here we go. I'm going to read from my own book right here. And we're going to talk about it. It says... Before you look outside of yourself for advice, you look at yourself for advice. Listen again. <laughs> Before you look outside of yourself for advice, you look at yourself for advice. But not yourself from a sm small point of view. You look at yourself from a grander point of view, means bigger. You create you as you would be. Let me explain that to you, okay? So before you go asking somebody whether you should do A or B, you should realize that from whatever perspective you're sitting in, you're not able to solve the problem. From that moment, if that moment you can't see a resolution, so you need to go seek advice, right? You don't know what the best thing to do is. Now, you're asking advice from somebody who does not live your life, doesn't have your goals, your desires, your dreams, anything, has literally been living in another universe than you, okay? And you're going to ask them to give you advice on your universe. It's going to be very dangerous. So here's what you have to do, or here's what I would do. It's a mental exercise. I don't know where I learned it or if I learned it or taught it. I don't know how it comes about these things. But what I do is I think about, okay, here I am right now. Let's say, let me give you uh, a real life situation. What would, what would be something like this? Mm, okay. I want to make another, let's say, I want to 10 times my income. Okay. How am I going to do that? So now I'm going to go seek advice. Hey, how can I 10 times my income? Hey, how can I 10 times my income? How can I 10 times my income? Stop. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to realize that right now, I don't know how to do that, okay, from where I'm at. So what I got to do next is take the bigger perspective of myself. What do I mean? Let's say I start my mental exercise and I go, okay, let's pretend um, it's 20 years from now. I'm 60 years old, okay, 64 years old at that time. 20 years from now, okay, and I come back from the future and I'm very, very, very successful. Let's see if I could do that in my mind, okay. What do I come back? What do I say to me in regards? What do I say to me in regards to 10, 10 times my income? Because I know my business, right? So if I push it forward 20 years in my mind and I've done really, really well, what would I say to me about my business? It's a different thought process. It's like I travel my own universe up and down instead of go outside and seek somebody else's universe. Theirs is theirs, mine is mine. Mm -hmm. If I need to fix me, I need to fix me, not them, right? So I'm going to go inside my own world and I'm going to come up with all kinds of thought experiments. The first thing I thought about right now when I said that, I wasn't really, really doing it, but I was kind of doing it. The first thing I thought about when I said that was, I think people have to know more about how passionate I am about what I do. You see, now I didn't think about that earlier, but I did the exercise briefly. And I thought 20 years from now, if I come back, what's one thing people would have known about me? Like that I gave my heart and soul to everything I did. I said, okay, well then if they know that then, they should try to know that now. Boom. See, if I was more successful, 10 times more, a lot of people would know how much passion I have for what I do. See, that kind of like just happened in, right in front of you. I did that mental exercise very quickly, right? So that's the writing. That's the teaching behind it for me because that's the, I'm the one who wrote it, but that's how I do it. Now, I said... The moment we change the way we think about something, it becomes real. The outside world starts to look differently. Yeah, that's true. Whatever you have, you should start using it. Oh, this is a good one. If you want to be flexible, right? Go to your flexibility, use it daily, and you'll become more flexible. If you want to be strong, go to your strength daily and use it. You'll be stronger. Anything you have, you use it and it gets stronger. That's something we weren't told. Because we're taught to have scarcity in our life instead of abundance. It's like you have so much, so don't use it. Why? Because you want to save it. No, don't fucking save it. What are you saving it for? You and I are connected to an infinite potential. I really like that one because it's a formula that I use. Whatever I want more of, I use more of it in my life. Okay, now, 
What about money? Using money and spending money are not the same thing, okay? So let's, let's talk about that. Yes, if I want more money in my life, you know one thing I can do? Is I can pick up another ad on, let's say, Instagram or uh, Facebook, okay? That's now money being used to make more money. I can take my money and I can put it in stocks instead of it sitting in the bank because in the bank, money depreciates. The, the value goes down. Even if you put it in your savings, or, you know they have all these stupid things they tell you. All of those suck dick on like a major dick sucking level. Better you put your money in some sort of stocks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I understand. I never knew what I was talking about. I still don't know what I'm talking about, but I know how to make money on it. I don't understand stocks. I just know how to make money in stocks, just so you know. It's kind of trippy, but you would trip out. My parents are tripping out. My parents are tripping out. Okay, well, it's very simple what I know, but everything I know is very simple. So that's how I win. Anyways, long story short, I use money to make money. If I want more money, I invest more money in the stocks. It's a trip. I invest more money in advertisement. I even invest more money in my own people. I take money, like I took 250 bucks yesterday to go to the mall, or a couple of days ago, and I used that money to invest in my business. I came out with a bunch of fucking incredible testimonials and people really knowing what the fuck we're doing, and I taught a great class day after for it. Like, that was money invested. I used that money. I used that money. And I'm just saying, even in regards to money, right? Now, let's say I want to... Um, I want to be better at punching, okay? Then I have to use my punches. The more I use my punches, the better my punching gets. The more I use my swimming, the better my swimming gets. Because that's how our minds work. You see, it's a mental machine we're using here. This is a mental machine. You're just looking at this, right? You can't see the mind. You can. It's the thoughts, right? That's running the body. The thoughts are running the body and you and I are being run. We are the motherfucking slaves. We think we're in charge. Wait. The mind is running the body. Now, who the fuck is running the mind? That's the question. I'm not. I am not running my mind. But I'm very aware of it now. So I know there's a point in there where I, what I think I am, have some decision point. I find myself there and I live in that area, knowing it's still not mine. It's a trip being me. Now, this is the stuff we talk about in my class, the lion's den. I realized, it's funny, I realized in the middle of the night last night that people have no idea, okay? I'll tell you why, I remember why. Um, people have no idea what the fuck happens. And look, it's basically sitting down for about an hour and a half to three hours. It's a minimum an hour and a half, three hours, four hours sometimes, but three, I don't think I've reached four hours, definitely three hours I have. <clears throat> hour and a half to three, two to three hours, whatever. And we talk about these principles that I have found and discovered from the, my teachers and my own studies. But I'm now, you know, I've been doing this for a while. There's a lot of products around me. So it's like, if I wasn't me, I would want to be interested in what I did more than any of what my teachers did now. Because my teachers, they didn't do what I did. And all of them, in fact, the ones that are alive still, they are in shock. They don't know what the fuck I'm doing either. So now it's my turn, the AZD process. And that process turns men into beasts, makes beautiful women more beautiful, makes you more successful. Why? Because that's, that's what I do. That's who I am. I'm teaching what I'm good at. By teaching you communication, but not the way that schools teach. Or you don't know, how does one even teach communication? That's the whole point. That's my job. It's my job. That's the Lion's Den class for men only, $97 a month. Today I'm going to teach at, at 10 a.m. again, and it's, it will be $3.24 to show up to that class today. If you spend $5 on yourself today, you would have done better saving a dollar and fucking 75 cents and came to my class, okay? Now, it's a monthly tuition. You get it at Araj Zapar. It's like an academy. It's a class. It's a university. It's, it's school, that's what the fuck it is. Arisezapar.com, okay, Z-E-P-A-R.com. Now, that's the kind of shit we're talking about because that's all the, the only thing I'm interested in, okay? So um, whatever you want more of, you use it more, okay? You use what you want more of. You don't try to save it. Now, if you try to save your flexibility or you try to save your strength, you would lose your strength and your flexibility. 
if you try to save your legs and not run every day, you wouldn't be able to run very good anymore, right? Anything, if you saved your speech, I'm going to hold my speech to only speak, you can't speak very good anymore. We are creatures that somehow, by doing what we do, we evolve into the next level of that. So if you do bad shit, you evolve to the next level of bad shit. You do good shit, you evolve to the next level of good shit. So you keep stacking your life with good positive situations, you evolve to the next level of positive situation, okay? Wherever the fuck you are in your life, you have some positive situations, some negative situations, all right? Whatever you put money in today, what's money? Currency, what's currency? Energy, energy, you. Whatever you put your, your energy in today, your vote, your vote, whatever you put your energy in today, you will have more of tomorrow. You decide how tomorrow is going to be, okay? By putting in and investing in today, whatever the universe gives you. It's like today's stocks are, and it goes up. And we don't know what's up and what's down in our life. Big video, what is the lion's den? This is a group that I teach the beauty and the art of what I call the beast, which is what I am and I've always been. It's my fulfillment to Manu, my teacher, and the application of what he said to me. It's only $97 a month. You sign up at riseapart.com. Every single day we meet, I change your life. I can't tell you much more. It is the program you have to be on. It's for men only. I will completely alter your existence. I'm the first example of it. If you know me, you need to be in the lion's den. I have changed so many lives so fast, you have no idea. Do yourself a favor, because you're $97 a month, I can shut that out any second. But you need me, and you need, you need this art. It's not for everyone, but those who know, I'm about to change the entire course of your destiny. Be the best, fuck the rest. We get up in the morning not knowing what stocks are up or down. It's the same thing with us. We check ourselves, like, oh man, my neck, like today my neck's a little fucked up, and I don't even know why. The fuck is my neck fucked up? I slept wrong. Like, what does that even mean? Then why don't I sleep wrong always? How did it happen? These aren't explanations to me. Saying I slept wrong or I bit myself is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Does anybody ever try to bit their own tongue? Can you even possibly bite as hard as you could bite yourself when you try not to bite? Like, it's impossible. Our language is a language of the slave. We're mis misrepresenting every moment by misowning every moment. Yes, you're there. You're just not there the way you think you are. You did not bite yourself. You couldn't bite yourself. It's actually incorrect to even try to put, put those, that, that, the sentence, I bite myself is impossible. You could bite your hand, but teeth can't bite themselves. Okay? You can't see yourself. You could look in the mirror, that's a reflection. You can't see yourself. Okay? You can't. You can't hear yourself. You, have, you hear yourself outside the moment you speak. The voice comes out, I hear it through my ear. I can't hear myself, I hear what I sound like on the outside. You get it? That's kind of deep, right? No, it's really deep. That's why we're monks. That's why the whole thing. The monk thing ain't because it's MTV culture. If I want to do MTV culture, I would not do a monk thing. Believe me, I could decode that shit so fast. I have, it's nothing. Okay, in my life, I've, I've been around, I've done things. That other men, I've owned a strip club before. Give me a break. So I know all this shit. And I did all of that using the code of the matrix. Not because I was a, a multimillionaire or I was a mobster. None of that. I've just put in the right codes. Okay, that's it. Now, do I have all the codes? Not even close. I just have some. That's the ones we're talking about. And I use those pretty well. Why? Because you use something, you get more of it. Ah, uh, bam. Nice one. There you go. I said, um, hack away, like chop away. Hack away at the unessential and find you. Man, how long is this book? Hack away at the unessential and find you. You're in there. It just has to be hacked away at the unessentials. At the belief systems you have. See, you're not your beliefs. You have to find yourself outside your beliefs. We've become too attached to our beliefs. And that causes war. 
I will not fight you for my belief any longer, but I will fight you for my right. There's a difference to believe anything. I have a right to believe whatever the fuck I want, and you have a right to believe whatever the fuck you want, and both of those are nothing more than beliefs. Okay? But my right to think it and your right to think it, that's a right. There's a big difference. That's not a belief. I don't believe in my right to think something. I'm telling you I'm going to think what I want and you can't stop me. There's a difference. I have a right to do that. Now, do I believe this and believe that? Look, if I was born into another fucking time, if I was born in another place to another bench of parents and under another fucking um, dictatorship of growing up, it would have been a different kind of belief system I have. I know that about me. So I'm not going to take credit for that. Okay? I can't take credit for being Persian. I love being Persian, but I, I can't take credit for that shit. I didn't choose that shit. My parents were great parents. I can't take I can't be. I can't be proud of anything that I haven't done. People are like, I'm proud of my race. What the fuck did you do? I can't even be proud of my ancestors. I have nothing that they can give me. That's how everybody should think. Whoever owned the same color of my skin or my genetic line has nothing to give me unless they left me some money or something. Then they had something to give me, for sure. If I came here and I said, hey, I was born a millionaire because my ancestors gave me money, then I'd be like, thank you, my ancestors. But as of right now, I got nothing to thank anybody for except the shit I do myself. They are a storyline. I've been told. They were great. That doesn't do shit for me, does it? How great were they now? Wow. Let me sit down and think about it for a while. Hold on. And then what did Hercules do? Then how did Hermes fool the gods? Tell me what Hermes did. Why? So I can do better. How's that? I'm tired of sucking their dicks. I think every man on earth should stop sucking every other fucking man's dick before him and just start standing the fuck up and saying, we're, that, we're them now. And every generation should be told, when you turn adult, you are to stop idolizing everybody. Why? Because you're the idol now. Go. It doesn't mean you can't admire. It means you have to own your power. You have to start... You got, you, you got to have to change the world. That's what they should be told. It's, your ancestors are not going to change the world. The color of your skin ain't going to change the world. What your family name is not going to change the world. Who your grandpa was or who your dad is doesn't change the world. Who the fuck you are is going to do something about it. That's like the one message we should be told. Okay? Someone should sit someone down and say, Listen, what's your last name? Great. Doesn't mean anything. Cool. Who is your great, great grandpa? Alexander the fuck? Great. It doesn't mean anything. Who else? Oh, you're the, you're, you're the evil Pope's son? It doesn't mean anything. Listen. Who are you? What are you going to do? We're going to judge you. Don't bring your certificate of uh, unauthenticity to me. You haven't been authenticated because you haven't done shit and you were given a fucking genetic something. Mm -hmm. Fuck you and your fucking genetics. How's that? I'm Persian. You know Persians that look like this? You know any Persians tatted like this? Maybe in the future. But I've been like this. Why? Well, Persians don't do that. That's why I was a Persian. We don't do that. Only criminals do that. Well, fuck you and fuck Persians and fuck criminals. How's that? And fuck tattoos. I want to do it. Huh? Why don't you sit the fuck down and let me do what I want to do with my body? Huh? And fuck your judgment and fuck your prejudice. Okay? Go suck a fucking dick, all of you. I want it to look like this. How's that? Huh? Was that a fucking crime? No, it wasn't, was it? Huh? That a person can say, I want to look a certain fucking way. Yeah. Then what? That's the whole problem. You see that? Everybody's in everybody's fucking business because nobody has their own business to take care of. It's like all the shops are empty except one shop is selling something. So all the fucking shop owners are in that shop telling that guy, you can't sell that here, man. That's got to cost that much. It's like, go sell your own shit. And nobody has anything in their own shops. And that's what happens to you when you start being somebody. You start being somebody in your own life and no one's got any substance in theirs. And they come around and they start talking about the substance in yours. 
Our guys get messages from other guys asking them, why are you putting the cold shower routine, bro? I don't know, faggot. Why are you looking at it? Huh? There's a good one. I got something for you, faggot. Stop looking at it. Huh? Go go look at somebody else, you fucking homo. Get out of my fucking page. It's not advice. The fuck is that? Commenting on another man's looks. Are you fucking stupid? We get shit like that. How come, how come you grew a beard? How come you got a tattoo? How come you, bro, how come you've changed? Hey, bro, shut the fuck up. Go fill your own store with something so that you could be over there and do something about it so people can show up to your store and benefit from you. Mm -hmm. You got nothing to sell. You have no value. Your store is empty. You're walking around pointing at my fucking products. Look at, I'm abundant with products. Why? Because every day I produce something. I know that I am the product, asshole. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where did that all come from? From this? Hack away the unessentials. That's nothing to do with it. What's really interesting is if you stand for something, if you go, this is who I am, this is what I do, immediately you're going to have to just, by virtue of saying A, you're going to have B behind it. Look, I'm talking about yin yang how long ago. You're going to say heads, there's tails. And people go through life trying not to do it. You have to own it. That's perfect. Okay? You have to own that shit. That's it. You just got to own your fucking life. That's, that's it. Turn around, look at the people around you, decide who's a friend, who's a foe. Make clean lines around you. Okay? Treat friends as friends, foes as foes. End of story. Okay? Move forward like you have friends. Those are your friends. If they act wrong, give them a chance. If they act wrong twice, get them out of there. Or three times or once. That's your call. That's your tattoos. That's your life. I don't give a shit. I'm just telling you how I do it. Okay? Then find people you can fall in love with and go fall in love with them. That's it. Okay? If you're a woman, find one man. If you're a man, fall in love as many times as you can without apology because you're the sunlight of the universe. You cannot apologize. You're the one like me putting the truth out. You're the one like me protecting the women and the children. You're the one like me helping other men like yourself, younger version of you, grow up sane. You need to, you need to fucking duplicate yourself a lot, actually. All right? That's what you need to do. That's what God intended. That's it. That's in all their fucking holy books. Fuck them. They can quote it for every fucking thing like murder, but they can't quote it for fucking man doing the right goddamn thing, which is man protect woman and child. Woman nurture child and man. Child grow up and cherish man and woman. Code of fucking family. Man protect woman child. Woman nourish child and man. Child cherish Mom and dad. If they do that. Not dad. Molest and hit child. Dad. Rape mom. Mom. Cheat on dad. Child. Grow up and hate everybody. And, and go do fucking great crazy shit. Just to prove that you, you, you exist. Welcome to earth. Hell. Right? All it takes is just doing the right thing. Now, what's the right thing? You know and I know. And if they tell us we don't, they're fucking lying to us. Because I've always known what's right and wrong. I am C Nation. Be the best. Fuck the rest.